tonight with this great fighter. No matter how rich you are as a fighter, to be a whole human being and to be able to establish that type of stature, you have to lose. Boy, I'll tell you. Hey yo, E King Fight News back at it, and Gennady Golovkin, Triple G, is trying to pull. Now he's trying to pull a side on Canelo Alvarez. E King Fight News, Triple G is out here saying it's about a 10% chance this fight happens. More on this, guys. All right, so Gennady Triple G Golovkin trying to pull a side. Gennady Golovkin just said to the media he made 99% of the concessions going into this Canelo fight. Uh, what was supposed to be the Canelo Alvarez fight, which is now Gennady Golovkin versus Vanez uh, Matarosian. Um, wow, how the tables have turned. You know, Gennady Golovkin was like, it should have been Canelo out here. You know, we made all these concessions. It's pretty much insinuating this dude's a, a total diva. And that, you know, Gennady Golovkin, if he's making 99% of the concessions, my goodness. What does that say about Canelo Alvarez? I mean, it'll let you know Canelo Alvarez will rape you on a fucking, <laughs> on a negotiations table, man. He pull A side on everything. Be like, no, I'm A side. No. No, my name's first. I'm A side. <laughs> Canelo. Canelo. Where is he now, man? This dude is suspended. He's out here. I don't know what he's doing, man. He should be he's gonna go back to Mexico and shit. It seemed like it seemed like Gennady Golovkin's gonna try and force some testing on Canelo. And I mean you know, Canelo's the one who made a big-ass mistake by withdrawing. He should have gone through with whatever evidence he could have uh, collected or, uh, or whatnot. He should have gone through with this hearing and tried to defend himself, but instead he took this route that allows him to return, potentially, um, in May. Of this year, sorry, not in May, in September of this year, right? So, we know that Canelo will return in September 2018. We don't know who that'll be. I mean, Gennady Golovkin is probably the number one option for them. I'm sure Oscar might be willing to do a 50-50 split at best. And I think most likely... You know, this fight probably goes down. I, I just think Gennady Golovkin, I mean, I don't see him as that fighter that uh, he said he was back in the day. I just don't see Gennady Golovkin as that individual. Uh, with his team behind him, there's a lot of snakes. There's a lot of guys that are just looking out for Gennady Golovkin to make the biggest purses possible. Uh, for the for minimum risk. I mean, look at what's going on right now. Vanez Medorosian has never fought at middleweight, yet he's the one that gets a shot on late notice to face Gennady Golovkin. Before that guy, the front runner was Spike O'Sullivan. The only notable guy on that guy's resume, other than his losses, because his he lost to some decent guys. He got knocked out by Chris Eubank, I believe. So, Spike O'Sullivan, I mean, not a class level. He's far from it. You know, in fact, he's fighting on Friday on a Golden Boy card. And he's not even the main event. Like, that's who Triple G wanted to fight. Come on, guys. Come on, that's that's insane. It, it, and it, it, was, it was asinine to the point that um, Spike O'Sullivan, he got offered probably a million dollars, and then Tom Loeffler trying to reel him in with a big offer, said, oh, you know what, oh, shit, I'm sorry, Spike, we got to reduce your, uh, your purse to about, 
150,000 or some dumb shit like that. And what well, you're talking about millions is one thing, but I mean, on HBO, like who knows what Vines is getting paid? Maybe he's getting paid 300k, I think at best. So Yeah, it's a good little payday for him. I mean, shit. I would take the fight. <laughs> I would take the fight. I can make 160 no problem. <laughs> no problem. But, uh, you know, Gennady Golovkin, he is, um, he's definitely been a remarkable, uh, figure in boxing, uh, took over the middleweight division, really, at, when Sergio was champion, he was really doing a takeover, Sergio was ducking Golovkin, and that's, that's the one thing I'll give him credit for. He had Sergio Martinez running all over the place, except, uh, you know, fighting guys like uh, Julio Cesar Chavez Jr., fighting guys like Miguel Cotto, but he wouldn't get in the ring with uh, Gennady Golovkin. Uh, after that point, however, it doesn't look so good for Golovkin because uh, Sergio Martinez lost to Cotto. And you know, yeah, yeah, at that point, Cotto was kind of ducking him too, but he, but he, he ducked him for Canelo. And that was a fight that pretty much everyone wanted to see. Before Cotto retired was Cotto versus Canelo. Even, shit, I was talking about that fight two years prior to that. Expecting that to get made. And it never got made. It didn't get made until uh, Canelo really uh, started fighting into his prime. And he was just too big for Cotto, man. Canelo was too big for Cotto. So uh, that tells you how big Canelo can be. And for a guy like Gennady Golovkin, who's not a big middleweight, I mean, Canelo Alvarez, you know, maybe it was a blessing in disguise that Canelo popped dirty in this uh, scenario. Because, I mean, Triple G, if he got in there with a, a, a powered up Canelo Alvarez, so to speak, um, it, maybe it, wouldn't, it probably wouldn't have been pretty. I'll tell you that much. I'll tell you, that wouldn't have been pretty for Triple G if he got in the ring with uh, a Canelo that may have been, uh, you know, enhanced during training. I mean, it was in February, March, April, May. I mean, if you, if you man, if you got pop for Clembuterol in February, you train your ass off, and then you go into the fight, uh, which is May... I mean, shit. Maybe that's part of Canelo, what he does, man. Who knows? Who really knows, man? I mean, training in Mexico. Canelo's from Mexico. He should know that uh, that whole me situation, man. He really should know. If you're really from Mexico like that, and, and, and you know anything, if, if you don't, like, a lot of people don't know the, the truth behind food. In general, like, where the shit comes from, how it's grown, farmer practices, pesticides and shit, um, you know, the regulations behind that, GMO, all this other shit, just in food. You know, Canelo may not pay attention to any of that, so, he, but you should know if, if they put in steroids in your fucking meat, bro, like, you gotta know. You gotta know something about that, eh? You think that carne asada, man, might have some, some of the juice in there, man. <laughs> but it just is what it is. This is what Gennady, this is what Gennady Golovkin had to say. More on this, guys. He can fight. All right, let's get it. Shout out to boxing scene. Golovkin says Canelo rematch has ten percent of, ten percent chance of happening. So this September we may not get the anticipated rematch. According to Gennady Golovkin, but I mean, talk is cheap. That's all I gotta say about that is talk is cheap. That's all I had to say. I would say it's about 10% probability at this point that it happens. I think 10% is high. It's bigger than it should be. I made 99% of the concessions for the fight with Canelo on May 5th. 99% of them were by me, and now he's the one not here. Wow. It sounded like he wanted a 50-50. You give him 50-50, he'll take the fight. That's what it sounds like. Like, he's tired of being the B-side and shit. Um, 
And, he, and he's calling bullshit on, on the hair follicle test. That's the other thing. You know, this hair follicle test, I don't know. I really don't know, man. Like, I'm into science and stuff, but this hair follicle thing? I don't know about that shit. <laughs> I don't know about that. Test your hair. You already tested positive. Why? Like, he's doing it. Why is he doing a hair test three months after the fact, after you're suspended? Like, do your hair test the second, you know, the second you're you're out here, uh, you know, telling the media you tested positive. Then do your hair test and prove you're innocent. Why the fuck are you doing it? Like four months later, I'm gonna get a hair test. Like that's legitimate evidence for one of these fucking court hearings. Unbelievable. Like, like why the fuck are you taking a hair test after the fact? Like, why? What does that prove? The time to prove something was that hearing. Damn near Nevada was gonna let you off easy anyway. I don't know, man. You can't fight news. Golovkin says Oscar can say anything. Say any. Say that, but he can say anything, you know? Don't talk. Do it. That's it. Do the test. He's expecting Canelo Alvarez. In my opinion, I think they're expecting Canelo to keep getting tested during the suspension. And that might be a key factor if, if a rematch happens. E King Fight News, let me know what you guys think. Smash the like button, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Let's get it, man.